entering actually the first week of December, I want to talk about the mutability of the energy. Um, if you think of terms of energies, um, there are energies that are in transition. Uh, there are fixed energies, foundational energies, um, and mutable energies, the ones that are kind of in between. We're in between that at the moment. And that is translating, obviously, at um, from the astrological point of view, entering all of these um, mutable signs where the energy is about um, adaptation, <clears throat> transition, uh, transformation, alchemy, alchemy. We are in a very potent time of alchemical transformation and how that looks like, it looks like being in between, um, in between worlds, in between moments in your life, just being in a very, for some people, very uncomfortable place of, I have this direction to take, I have this full of energy to move forward, to finish deals, to close deals, to sign papers, to create things, to establish, to act. I'm ready for action. And yet the, the energy, the, 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 the structure is not there yet. It's not ready yet. It's being built. So it's like, <clears throat> it's like this extra moment of charged up energy. Um, this is what's transpiring and that's why it's so important to move the body, to do exercise, because otherwise that stagnant energy or stock energy that wants to move and it's being held back, it's, it, can't, um, it can manifest as rage, it can manifest as out of control, it can manifest as um, just losing your shit, um, just losing your mind um, or just losing your sense of um, stability and yet that is important as well because this moment this this alchemy is also about going deeper into those aspects of within you that want to be in control that like to be in control and again we've been taught and this is the biggest learning right now for humanity in the past two three years we are not in control the systems of control have been out have been seen for what they are and it's very obvious to, to us and to many of us now these systems of control but also understanding that those systems of control are within you how do you recreate support act on agree and keep keeping yourself in control and controlling the outcome and things around you how do you do that because nothing is separate we're all this is a world of mirrors um so can you be in the next two weeks up to a month and a half into the realization that we are in the unknown and that there's no control and all i need to do is focus on how i direct my energy with flow and direction, flow and direction, moving the body, releasing excess of energy, and then allowing rest as well, allowing steadiness, stability, allowing quietness, self-care, right? So that's the flow part, being in touch with nature, being in touch with your breath, using any tools that bring you back to you back to you and trust it's a big one trust is a big one and we're still being asked to trust we've been going through a lot of upheavals up and down up and down up and down and now we are in the last bits of the alchemy which is really transforming, really going deep into what needs to be transformed, what aspects in my life need to be transformed. And that's why when the fire energy came in, it just took it away. 
whatever did not serve your life, whomever did not serve your life, any belief systems that do not longer serve your own ability to be in your flow, in your happiness, in your human experience, gone, all gone. Now, the key moment here is, are you going to attach to those again? Are you gonna go, no, 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 don't, don't go. You know, I, 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 it's so uncomfortable. I still need you here. I need to feel in control. Or are you going to honor that in whichever way you can and allow that alchemization and that transformation to happen?